Hey everybody, we're going to continue on with part 14 of our game creating tutorial. So in the last tutorial, I just want to make a few changes and then we'll continue on and kind of make those collisions a little bit more perfect. So first thing I do want to do is we're going to remove the parse int for um, increasing the y and the x. We, do, we don't want to parse those as integers. Um, we want to parse them as floats like they are um, so that we get... Uh, we get the ability to have, you know, small movement, um, not pixel, you know, not a pixel every tick. We don't, we don't want that. We want to be able to move it by uh, tiny amounts. Now, where we actually will get the smooth um, per pixel change is in our game camera, where we will actually um, only allow the camera offset to be an integer. And what that will do is it will kind of click it to the pixel. Um, but our character will still be allowed to have partial pixel movement, um, though he won't actually be moving. Uh, you know, though he, though the the whole f uh, game won't look like it's you know on half pixels and weird and clicky and um, how it did from the very first tutorial. So one thing that we want to do, um, I'm going to just take in the else and say if this dot x move is greater than zero or less than zero. Sorry. And um, this is a guarantee that we don't run these functions if we're not, um, if our x move is not greater or less than, um, well, you know what, I guess we will never have, we'll never get to this function if we don't have any movement. So we can leave it there like that. Um, so if we want to make the collisions a little bit better, we're going to come into, uh, into our, uh, x move or move x function and uh, right here we have an if to allow it to move if we're not colliding but we don't do anything if we are colliding so we can actually do something now if we are colliding we can we can uh, kind of reset his position to what we want so if we are colliding in this case um, we can say that his x or the character's x is equal to, and we'll say tx times tile dot tile width. So this is taking that temporary x position and, and setting it back to pixels minus this dot bounds dot x minus this dot bounds dot width. All right. And basically what we're doing is we're getting the position of that pixel the and then um and then or sorry not that pixel sorry we're getting the position of the tile the the tile in pixels okay and then we're going to subtract it, his x and his bounds from that and what that will end up doing is putting him exactly his bounds exactly touching the uh, left side of that tile so when we are colliding, it will basically just reset him, um, his X position, right to the edge of that tile. Now, one thing that we that will happen on the right um, is it will cause us to not be able to move up and down. Um, so what we can do is just to fix that, we'll just minus one pixel here, and then that will actually fix it so that we can uh, we can move up and down. Um, while still being colliding with that. So we're going to do the same thing here in the if. We'll create the else for the other direction. And in here we will set this dot x equal to tx times tile, oops, tile dot tile width plus tile dot tile width. And we'll subtract uh, we will subtract this dot bounds dot uh, x from that, and this should get us to stick to the right side of the tiles because we're getting we're getting it the tile uh, position in pixels. Then we're adding the width to it so we get to the far right of that pixel of that tile, and then we're going to subtract the bounds dot x so that we actually get the uh, bounding box to be what's touching the tile. 
So if we do that correctly, we move to the right. If you look, he is touching the far right. Move to the left, he's touching the far left. So, and he's touching them, it's lined up perfectly. Now he is one pixel off, but you can actually adjust the bounds and stuff to make that look good. Um, you can take that into consideration when creating your bounds. Now, Y on the other hand is not working the same. So let's go ahead and just add those two uh, else statements to that as well. So else, if is colliding, we'll say this dot Y is equal to TY times tile dot tile height minus this dot y or bounds dot y and oops this this dot bounds dot height and then we'll minus one again for the same reasons and down underneath this one This dot y is equal to ty times tile dot tile height plus tile dot tile height minus this dot bounds dot y. All right. So let's see if we've got the correct stuff going on. So we come up to the top. Oh, tile height there. Let's see if that fixes the problem. There we go. We are clicking to the tiles now, and they look pretty good. Awesome. So that is some much better collisions. Um, I think that because of what I want to get into in the next tutorial, I think I'm going to leave it here with this. And in the next tutorial, let's possibly get into animations. Um, well, I'm going to end up changing the character um, from Mario to one that uh, has more animation frames and stuff that I can use. So. Uh, we'll get going on that in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching this really short one. Sorry, guys, that it's so short, but um, but the next one will will take care of quite a bit. All right, see you there.